fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew an exposed zipper. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here is an example of an exposed zipper where it's sewn on the outside of the garment and where the zipper tape is exposed. I've prepared my sample. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you're going to be working on the right side of your garment in order to apply the zipper. Before you get to that stage, the first thing you need to do is interface. I'll just turn it onto the right side. You need to interface the right side of your fabric. So what I did is put two strips on either side of the seam, uh, roughly about 2.5 centimeters, and um, press that. And then I did a reinforcement stitch, the length of the zipper on both sides. Now I'm working on the wrong side and what I will do is mark that because you can't really tell the difference between the right and the wrong. Now it's very very important that you get this stage right. So the first thing I did was apply the interfacing to the right side and then I did a reinforcement stitch which is a uh, three quarters of an inch a centimeter and it came off at a, a right angle and then I sewed on the wrong side the seam of the garment and then press that open. So this is what it looks like once you've done those three steps. On the wrong side we've got the seam and on the wrong side you can see the interfacing and also the reinforcement stitch. On the right side it should look like this where you just see a little strip of the fusible interfacing. And the next step after that is to work on the wrong side, snip into the seam to the stitching and not through the stitching and just below the, uh, the reinforcement stitch. Okay and now what needs to happen is working on the right side you're going to pull those seams through to the right side. Like so. I've cut into the seam and I brought the seam to the right side of the garment. The next thing to do is to base stitch along the seam. This will help to keep the seam in place when you put your zipper on. And then you press that open and this is what it should look like on the right side. But quickly just flip it over and that's what it looks like on the wrong side. Turn back to the right side. It's now ready for the placement of the zipper. Making sure the raw edge of the zipper is to the raw edge of the top of the garment. Position that in the middle and then pin and baste into place. You're just going to go through just the seam. Yeah, you're not going through the garment, just the seam. Pin that in place and I'll pin on the other side. And then take it to my sewing machine. The zipper is now based into place and the next thing to do is to sew a row of stitching close to the zipper teeth. So we need to make sure we're just sewing on this seam allowance. Now do remember I'm just sewing through the seam allowance and I'm going to go as close, so I've got my zipper foot on, I'm going to go as close as possible as my zipper foot will allow me to go to the zipper teeth all the way down. come to the zipper slider it can be tricky to get the slider up so the best thing is to do is to make sure your needle is down your work because that will enable your work to stay stable as you kind of fish it around to make sure that you get your slider out of the way so put it to one side and now I have the control put my feet back down and then I can continue sewing the rest of the zipper tape the next step is to cut the seam allowance because we want to make sure that this is hidden inside of the zipper tape. So we're going to get your scissors and then we're going to get your seam and we're going to cut away about three or four 
I'll say about four millimeters all the way down to make sure it's hidden from view when we come to do the second row of stitching. I've now cut away the seam allowance and if I show you what that looks like and it's now ready for the second row of stitching which is going to be closer to the zipper tape edge but I'm just going to fold under the ends because I want a neat finish there and then pin that into place so you'll be pinning into the actual garment as well as the seam allowance so pin all that into place and do it on both sides and then be ready to take into your sewing machine and doing the next row of stitching. And the final stitching is going to be on the edge of the tape. You can use a bigger stitch length if you wish. It's all about your sewing project and what you the look you try to achieve. Keep that going. All the way down, pull your pins out. You may you may find that you may not need pins, but if you do, that's okay. If you don't, then that's fine as well. Just make sure your zip is really flat to the surface. Now you have it, your um, exposed zipper sewn to the right side of your garment. And all it requires is you just to remove the basting stitch from underneath. It now becomes a functional zipper. I hope that you found that video tutorial of help and the using of an exposed zipper on any sewing project can add a great statement. Do subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV and click here for free weekly fashion sewing tutorials. If you have any comments or queries, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.